Hey guys, so I know I said I was going to do a video talking about my concerns about the Z-Pop Dream project and some of you are probably expecting that video. It's still coming. However, I decided to shift a few videos around and post this one first. Before I get into it, a quick disclaimer since I'll be sharing a few opinions in this one. These are just my opinions based off the information I have found and information that has been shared with me. These videos are meant to open a conversation and to be a place where you can freely express your opinions about the Z-Pop Dream project or anything I talk about in this video, whether it's positive or negative. I please ask that you respect the opinions of each other and have a civil conversation. However, hate towards the group nor any particular member is not and will not be tolerated. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. So as you guys may remember, back on May 6th, it was announced that Cosmic Group rebranded into Divtone Entertainment and Zpop Dream will now be under Divtone Entertainment and no longer under Zenith. If you would like to know more about the rebranding, I have a video that talks about the rebranding, new management, and so forth. I will have a card in the right hand corner if you like to check it out. So on Divtone's site, there's a small map that shows where some of their offices are besides being based in Singapore. One office being in Korea, so myself and others figure that most likely Z-Pop Dream will remain based in Korea. However, a Facebook Live done by Carlene may have some people thinking otherwise. I'm gonna play the video, but before I do, quick thanks to Myra Lee who sent me the link to this video. Here's the clip. Because I have to do something in Singapore and then to another country. So yeah, or maybe if I have time, I want to travel and have a vacation first before I go to Singapore to work. I just want you to know that I really miss you guys and I thank you for always supporting me and of course my team, Z Girls and also Z Boys, Z Stars and uh, I'll make sure that we're gonna come back soon. After seeing that clip, my thoughts were, oh, they're going to be based in Singapore, which makes sense since the company is based in Singapore. However, I noticed a lot of questions from Galaxy asking if they're really going to be moving to Singapore and what would this mean for second generation that was supposed to prepare for their debut in Korea. So a few Galaxy DM'd Z-Pop Dream asking for answers and I decided to ask a few questions of my own. I not only DM'd them, but I also sent a few emails to them as well, in which they didn't respond to. I'll read you guys what I sent them. Keep in mind, some of the things I mentioned in this DM were based off some of the comments I've been getting in my comment section, plus a few things I wanted clarification on. When or if they ever respond, I will make an update video with their answers. Here's a DM. I'm a Z-pop, technically Z-pop and K-pop, but you get the point, channel on YouTube that has been covering the Z-pop dream project since the debut of Z-Stars in Seoul. I was hoping that you can answer a few questions that myself and my viewers have been curious about. With the rebranding and move to Divtone Entertainment, it was understood that the company has a branch in South Korea, so myself and my viewers figured that both generations of Z-Stars would continue to train and travel to and from Korea. However, it was later said by a Z-Star on Facebook Live that they would be working in Singapore. So my question is, will both generations of Z-Stars now be based in Singapore instead of South Korea? If so, will this be permanent or temporary? I understand with the current virus situation that it is preventing the project from promoting. It was already hinted by a Z-Star that first generation was planned to have a comeback, which is now on hold due to the virus situation. Now, in terms of second generation, there were a few articles that mentioned that second generation Z stars were supposed to debut sometime in April. Is this true? or were they supposed to continue training and their official debut was scheduled for a later date. Also, it was understood that they were supposed to have a debut concert similar to first generation in South Korea as well. If Z stars relocate to Singapore, would this change and the concert be relocated to happen in Singapore or will the concert still happen in South Korea? Now with Joanne leaving Z girls, it's planned that Z girls will continue as a six member girl group. Do you have any plans in the near future to have another girl take Joanne's place? If not, is there a reason as to why there will be no new members Member added to Z Girls. Would it be concerning that if or when Z Stars were to promote in Taiwan, that Perry will be the only Chinese speaker? Would that make interviews a bit difficult? And lastly, I would like to inquire about the rebranding and overall project. It was noted in an article on the Z Pop Dream website that ZMC Group, I'm sorry that says G, I know it's supposed to say ZMC, group was suspended. I would like to confirm by asking, does June Kong and Zenith no longer have any relation to the Z Pop Dream project? 
Also, is Divtone involved in a collaboration between Zenith and Number One Media's project to create a Korean Japanese K-pop group? And my final question based off the Z-pop Dream website, in a section talking about the project, the project was described as creating an international K-pop group. However, based off how the project has been described over time as being Z-pop, this could conflict with the original idea of Z-pop. So why the difference in wording when describing the project? I've noticed that this has caused a bit of confusion amongst fans due to the difference in wording. Myself and my viewers would greatly appreciate the clarification. Thank you for your time, kind regards. So since they didn't answer my DMs nor emails, I went looking around to see if any fans had any luck getting a response. I asked on my Instagram story if any of you guys have seen any answered DMs as well, in which I was sent one. I don't know if you would feel comfortable with me saying your IG handle, so I'll show the comment here. And again, thank you so much for sending this to me. Now before I read the DM, a close friend of mine reminded me of something that even I tend to forget as well, and it's that a lot of companies are not going to tell you everything that they are planning. They might tell you a generic statement, but not go into full detail. Like for example, they could say at the moment that they're not going to replace a member, but that doesn't rule out the possibility that they might in the future. Now, I'm not saying that Z-Pop Dream is doing that when answering fans. This is just something I now try to keep in mind and just want to put out there. So now I'm going to read the response that Z-Pop Dream gave to two galaxies in DM, and I'll say my thoughts based off the DMs afterwards. Unfortunately, in this DM, I do not know what was initially sent to Z-Pop Dream, but this was Z-Pop Dream's response to that fan. Hi, we appreciate your passion and enthusiasm for the Z-Pop Dream project. Please rest assured that the change of management does not affect Z-Pop Dream, Z-Stars, or Generation 2's plan and growth. It's only due to the current virus situation will access the situation as soon as it gets better, especially when the travel restrictions of each Z-Stars member's country start easing up and they can start traveling again too. We seek your kind and saying that we are unable to provide further details of Z-Stars comeback at this time. There will be no replacement of Z-Stars. We will have a separate plan for second generation. Don't worry, we will focus on both generations growth as soon as everyone can start traveling and get back to training. The second DM reads as follows. The Galaxy sent, I got shocking news today, but I just want to ask, Z-Stars are will stay in Korea or not? Please answer because this makes Galaxy wondering. I will share your answers to other Galaxy, in which Z-Pop Dream responded, Hi, there's nothing changed. All Z-Stars and Gen 2 will get back to Korea for training accordingly after the pandemic situation is over. So as I was editing this video, I was actually sent another DM that Z-Pop Dream answered. Again, thank you so much for sending it to me. I don't know if you'd feel comfortable with me saying your IG handle, so I'll leave it out here on the screen. Again, thank you so much for sending it to me. I won't be reading this DM since it's very much similar to the last two DMs that was sent. So I'll leave it on the screen in case you would like to read it for yourself. Now my thoughts and opinions on this. Please remember these are just my thoughts. Opinions and thoughts are not facts. Just want to put that out there. I want to first say that it's obvious that Carleen's Facebook Live completely contradicts with the reply given by Z-Pop Dream. And to be honest, I'm more inclined to believe what Carleen says rather than the company because why would Carleen talk about working in Singapore if there isn't any truth behind it? I wish I had the exact timestamps of Carleen's Live and when those DMs were answered because to give the benefit of the doubt to the company, they could have originally decided to have them go to Singapore so that's why Carleen said that she had to work in Singapore but later the company changed their minds and decided to have them go back to Korea. Again that is if I wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt but then I see the other DM that says that they have separate plans for first and second generation which leads me with this thought that there could be a possibility that Divtone may decide to have first generation be based in Singapore and second generation based in Korea and maybe try to once again promote in Korea but with second generation. I also saw a few people mention how they think that Divtone will have first and second generation based in Singapore temporarily while they get their proper facilities for Z-Stars since they possibly don't have the same facilities as Zenith had and that's also a, an argument that makes sense as well. But as of right now, according to Z-Pop Dream, first and second generation will be coming back to Korea once travel restrictions for each country lets up and they have the green light to travel again. But I do personally still find it odd how Carleen's live does not align with Z-Pop Dream's response to fans. But anyways, that's the pop Dream's response and honestly I think that's the best we're gonna get as of right now. So I thought my video on the rebranding would be the last time I'd be talking about Zenith and or Jun Kong, but oh boy, was I wrong. First of all, thank you to Jung Won Lin who brought this to my attention. It looks as if Zenith has moved on to another project and this time they are going back into the K-pop market as well as the J-pop market. The project is called the One Dream Project founded by Jun Kong himself and Zenith has partnered with Number One Media in hopes to create a Japanese and Korean girl group that will not only be promoting in Japan and Korea, but will also be promoting globally. The site also shows some of Zenith's 
past girl groups, which includes Z girls as one of them. Before you ask why Z boys are not on there, it's because they're obviously not a girl group. And in case you want further proof to show that this is a project done by Zenith, if you go to the number one media site and scroll down, you'll see some familiar faces that also took part in the Z pop dream project. And the project seems to have been going on for a while now because the Korean members already had auditions and I believe have already been chosen. Number one media is currently in charge of finding the Japanese members and the deadline for people to apply is July 4th. There will be three different screenings with a final screening in Korea. The first being a paper selection and order of arrival, the second an online or video review, and the third being a video review which will include a performance, a self-introduction, and the top five to seven as well as the special jury awards will participate in the final round. And the final round will happen in Korea in which the company will pay for, and the ones who are selected will travel to Korea to prepare to debut alongside the Korean members. And the group is set to debut sometime in the winter of 2020. Number one media actually posted a video of one of the Korean members that will most likely be a part of the group. The ad for the project was posted on a few Japanese sites, mentioned on recruiting Instagram pages, and as well as on number one media socials. Here's a bit of what the ad says and the requirements. One Dream Project Recruiting Japanese and Korean Girls Unit Members Be strong, believe in yourself, and dream with all your might. Host, Number One Media Japan Founded by Jun Kong who produced Girl Units, Wanna Be, Lip Bubble, and others. Number One Media Japan is recruiting members of the Japanese and Korean Girl Units. In Korea, candidates have already been selected. Passengers will take lessons in Korea and try to debut with Korean members. From the organizer, Korean Entertainment Company Number One Media is recruiting members of the Japan Korea Girls Unit. A few can Candidates have been selected in Korea where Korean members auditioned a little bit earlier. We are looking forward to those who dream of becoming active not only in Japan and Korea but also globally. After passing this audition, they will take a debut lesson in Korea and prepare for your debut. Qualification A woman aged 18 to 25, nationality regardless, a person who has no contract with a specific production company or record company, persons who participate in the examination after the second examination, minor's application requires parental consent. After passing, concluded a contract considered planning until our debut and provided necessary lessons for free. So my thoughts on this. To be honest, when I was reading this and looking more into the project, I don't know why, but the group that kept coming to mind was Eyes One. And for those who don't know who Eyes One are, they are a Korean Japanese girl group, and you are the third group created in the Produce 101 series. However, the third season was called Produce 48. The show had both mainly Korean and Japanese contestants, and the Japanese contestants came from AKB48, and as well as sister groups of AKB48, some being NKT48, HKT48, and so forth. The group was created through voting and consent consist of 12 members, 3 who are Japanese, and have been promoting in Japan and Korea since. I'm not bringing up Eyes One in order to say that Zenith is trying to create their own version of Eyes One, they were just a group that came to mind when looking over the project details. However, finding out about this project has now kind of changed my thoughts on possible reasons as to why the rebranding happened. I mentioned one of my thoughts being that Divtone probably didn't think that Zenith was fit to run the Z-Pop Dream project and decided to take over. But now, another thought I have as a possible reason for the rebranding, and again this is just a thought, not a fact fact is that Jun Kong himself may have decided to leave the project on his own, choosing to pursue this project instead of Z-pop dream, and go back into the K-pop industry and dwell into the J-pop industry as well. And since Div Tone, formerly known as Cosmic Group, no longer had a company to run the Z-pop dream project, instead of looking for another company to partner up with, they decided to rebrand as an entertainment company and run the project themselves. Again, this is just a thought of mine, not a fact, just putting it out there. However, I am very much interested into seeing how this project goes especially since this will be Zenith's attempt of going back into the K-pop and now J-pop market after Z-pop Dream, as well as if the project will have any success and how their promotions will go and so forth. Also, since this project will most likely have no relation to the Z-pop Dream project, let me know if you guys would want me to talk about it as well along with the Z-pop Dream project. Now before I move on to the final updates pertaining Z-Pop Dream, a little bit of an intermission because I want to talk about something real quick. I understand that people want to understand more about the Z-Pop Dream project and want to know more about Divtone and Zenith and I completely 100% encourage that. I think it's very important to research companies especially if you plan to audition for them. However, please be careful of spreading rumors that have no source behind it. For a while now I've been seeing comments here and there of people wanting to know more about the claims of Zenith's money laundering and fraud in which even 
after looking into it myself, I saw nothing of the such that could prove those claims. And finding out that someone updated a wiki page claiming that Zenith shut down due to possible money laundering and fraud, and when someone asked them for a source of their information, it was later then deleted. All I'm going to ask is, please don't spread false information or rumors that have no source and can get someone in trouble. Sources are very, very important when trying to look up information, and if something that you see does not have a source behind it, please don't spread it as if it's true or spread it further until there is a reliable source backing up those possible claims. Just want to put that out there as a quick reminder. Now let's talk about some Z-Star updates. As you guys may have remembered, earlier this year Priyanka's Instagram was unfortunately hacked. If you would like to know more about the hacking and Zpop Dream's statement on the matter, I will have a card linked in the right hand corner. Since then, any updates made by Priyanka were posted on the official Zpop Dream Instagram page. But since then, fans have been wanting Priyanka to make another Instagram account. And Priyanka has granted that wish. Ahead of her birthday, which this video we posted after her birthday, which is July 2nd, she made a post on her Twitter account announcing that she has a new Instagram account. And members of Z Girls and Z Boys, as well as the official Z Pop Dream account, welcomed her back to Instagram. I will have her Instagram account linked in the description box below in case you would like to follow it. Some Z stars have been keeping busy by providing some content for fans as well. Some updating their YouTube channels with new covers, and some Z stars have either opened their own YouTube channel and or thinking about making one. Cheetah, the male winner from Thailand, has recently opened his own YouTube channel and posted his first video. Jispantia, which I hope I'm saying her name right, if not, I I will get these names down by the time they debut. The female winner from Indonesia took part in 17's left and right challenge which is posted on her TikTok account as well as Instagram account. Dave, the male winner from the Philippines, hinted at the idea of possibly making a YouTube channel with Zelani, the female winner who is also from the Philippines. Ploy, who is the female winner from Thailand, recently announced on her Instagram story that she will be opening up her own YouTube channel as well and it might focus on her lifestyle with occasional unboxing and or vlog. Mavin, also also created a YouTube channel and has posted a few covers on there. Guy posted a video for his birthday on his YouTube channel. Carlene covered Cookie Kawaii song Vibe and posted it onto her Instagram page in which she was noticed by Cookie Kawaii herself who also thanked her for covering her song. Sid also did an Instagram live with the K-pop boy group Into It, which is still available on his Instagram page if you'd like to see it for yourselves. Carlene, Mavin, Vanya, and Belle did Instagram lives to interact with fans which are up on the Z-Pop Dream YouTube channel. Zpop Dream has also been uploading 25 things about so-and-so videos about first-gen Z stars. As I'm recording this so far, 25 things about Roy, Carleen, Sid, Belle, Josh, Mavin, and Priyanka have been uploaded. Roy has been busy himself as he is starring and promoting the show Billionaire Idol, in which Queen made an appearance of the show's first episode, which is also her acting debut. Roy, along with his castmates, attended the premiere for the show. As I'm recording this, there are currently three episodes out with a fourth one on the way. Roy also mentioned that there will be English subtitles coming soon, eventually for those who would like to watch the show but do not understand Vietnamese. And last but definitely not least, Vanya has been up to a few things as well. She was featured on a song Dreamin', a song by One Kind, who also I believe was the rap coach for Z Stars. The song is currently out. You can listen to it on his YouTube channel, Spotify, Apple Music, and iTunes if you'd like to check it out. She, along with Malvin, participate in a PUBG tournament. And lastly, Vanya has been posting on her YouTube channel as well and posted a cover to the song Grenge by Lisa, which is the opening to the anime Demon Slayer, which I just have to say, maybe it's time for me to stand Vanya because that cover, wow. Immaculate. Chef's kiss. I was worried for a second because one, Lisa is one of my favorite Japanese singers of all time, and two, I am attached to that song because I love that song so much, but that cover, wow. Talent. We love to see talent. If you'd like to see that cover, I will have it linked in the description box below along with everything else I mentioned in the Z-Star updates. But yeah, I'm going to end this video here. I'm sorry that it took a while for me to get this video out. I had a few minor setbacks, but here we are. Here's the video. I do have a couple more Z-Pop Dream videos lined up, so stay tuned for that. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe for more. I make videos whenever I can on both K-Pop and Z-Pop. Comment any of your thoughts on anything I talked about in this video, as well as other videos you would like to see from me. Follow me on Instagram to know when I'm making my next video, or look out for my community post. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves, and I hope you come back for my next video. Bye guys.